Hello, Cancerians. I'm Laurel. And welcome to Laurel's motherfucking moon in this bitch. Join me as I read you your life, baby. <coughs> Thank you to everyone who's liked, shared, commented, subscribed, excuse me, to my channel. You know I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do. And if you need to get a personal room for me, make sure you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, LaRelsMoon.com. For any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that motherfucking nature, baby. So, Cancerians, spirit, you are welcome into this reading. All right, Cancerians, we'll be using the Isis Oracle for the month of September. <coughs> Off top, we're going to be finding out how your partner views you, what you don't see, who's spying and lying, the advice, okay? And possible outcomes. So let's see what the message is overall for you, Cancerians, with the Isis Oracle. All right, Spirit of Isis. Triumph of the goddess. Okay. So, spirit of Isis. Look how beautiful that is. Looks like she's protecting something too. So, let's see what's going on. She's got her head turned to the side and she's also, let's flip through the book. Oh, I found it right off top. So, Cansadians, you could have been searching for something that you've been looking for and you find it. Right there in front of your eyes, Cancerians. All right. Off top, beloved initiate. There are times to surrender and let go, but there are never times to give up, Cancerians. Persist with your bold faith and inspire action until this impossible happens. Isis has the spirit of triumph and will never fail in her quest, no matter how bold or how impossible it seems. Believe, Cancerians. All right, it's saying it is helpful on the inner path to let go and detach over and over again. And yet we need to stay true to our heart and not give up on what we feel we are here to do. Whether it's reaching for enlightenment, inner peace, for creative breakthrough or personal healing, the triumph of the goddess is with you now urging you not to give up. No matter how far away or how impossible success may seem to be, don't. Quit, motherfucker. <laughs> Persist until the impossible happens. The power of genuine inner, inner will, not force or domination, but the inner power that fuels us to continue with our inner practices to do what we need to do in the physical world to bring ourselves to light and life is growing within you now. Okay, it is supported by living the right quest for you seeking to climb the mountain that lies within your own hearts, not chosen for us by another, but the journey that genuinely lies within us. So, like I said, you guys could be protecting yourself, Cansadians, protecting your heart, but I'm feeling with this guidance and with this energy, it's saying to let go, let it all just motherfucking happen. All right? Off top, Ace of Pentacles, this is Definitely how you feel. You get into that motherfucking money. You could be waiting on money offers. Somebody could be sending you some things in their hand with money in their hand. Also money in the mail. Cansadians. You also have the chariot energy. So this is definitely you. You are taking care of yourself, taking care of your home. You are definitely coming into this time where you're making final decisions. That is what that spirit of Isis is talking about. You have triumphed over all of the bullshit and stumbled over all of the dead souls that tried to knock you down along the way. And here it is. You're manifesting the fuck out of some shit. All right. You got the magician energy, the ace of cups, Cancerians. New beginning, new starts, new love, new home. You're triumphing over all of the bullshit. I love it, Cancerians. You're making final decisions. Could be into that witchy shit as well, or they are cult. For some of you, Cancerians, I'll take a puff to that, darling. So, I feel like there's going to be a lot of forward movement happening in the month of September, Cancerians, that you guys have been waiting on. There could have been a lot of resistance, a lot of struggle that you guys were dealing with. Uh, in the pre-shuffle, I did see the Five of Swords coming in, not the Five of Swords, but the Five of Wands coming in reverse. So, let's get down to the motherfucking business. 
You overall have new beginnings, new opportunities coming your way. Let's see what's going down with the magical messages from the fairies, Cancerians. I already see let go. So, why need to let go of something? You've already overcome those obstacles. Magical messages from the fairies. Tell me what Cancerians need to know for the month of September. All right, Cancerian, dietary change. Improve your diet and your life will also improve. Okay. So some of you all could be changing your diet. You could be watching your intake of what you're uh, bringing in to your inner world. Some of y'all could be improving as well how you eat. Okay, that could be a factor in your life overall of making a change, right? Some of y'all could be changing your habits due to your health issues. And also, whom do you need to forgive, Cancer Adians? As you release old anger and resentment, you'll find that your wishes will come true. So Elsa, let that shit go. Release that resentment, that anger, that old trauma. Okay, one more. Uh oh, I'm not taking that. Flower power, Cancerians. Spend time with flowers and flower essences to increase your personal healing power. So you could be dealing with flowers. Could be dealing with children as well, too, for some of you all Cancerians. But I'm feeling like you're picking those flowers. You putting all you not, try not to put all your eggs in a basket, but it's not an egg, it's water, baby. So I really feel a lot of you guys are going through some major changes. Chariot energy is improving your strong will, your free will as well. Cancerians, I love it. Let's see what's going on with the romance angels. Okay, and what your partner, how they view you. Here we go. Let's get to that romance, baby. Very soon, clearly, decide. So you want. So what you want will come to you now, Cancerian. So making those decisions, drawing those conclusions um, and solutions. Um, for some of y'all, you could be needing to decide whether or not you... Um, are dealing with if you're wanting to keep a soulmate or if you need to love yourself first okay because i got to love yourself first and also for some of you all calling in your soulmate your prayers and affirmations and visualizations help bring you together and your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive so it's saying to me can't say anything i know y'all take care of yourselves honey but if somebody gets y'all in that moment or get y'all in the heat of the moment honey it goes awry so I feel, with that being said, you could be dealing with what you're wanting to visualize as your soulmate or who your, or who your soulmate could be. Okay, They could be chiseled. They could be fat, stubby. I don't know what the fuck they are, but I'm definitely seeing here, once you bring in those affirmations, write that list down, Ken said, you know, what you really want from that motherfucker so that you can bring it in. All right, one more card. One more card, Cancerians. Here we go. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So, yeah, I know that's my Uncle Festa card. That is my... That motherfucker might not be what you used to. But you like it, baby. You like it, Cancerians. So, here we go. Keep an open mind. Whoever you're visualizing, you need to... Set those real affirmations, can say and be specific on your affirmations and your visualizations. This person is definitely viewing you as somebody who could be breaking a home or someone definitely could be dealing with a home situation, home scenario. Four of Wands energy, Page of Wands as well, Temperance energy here as well, can say and so I'm feeling like a lot of you guys or a person is viewing you as somebody who's Kind of change the pace in the home or the stability scenario, your family unit, your family home. Um, also with the page of wands, could be someone uh, that's kind of disappointed or someone who's drawn a lot of uh, instability or a lot of balance um, to a situation due to messaging. Also could be a Sagittarius in the equation that caused some sort of star up here as well. You have the Knight of Swords and also the Temperance energy, so... Someone could have been trying to feel like you're kind of 
coming in and out. There also could be some flighty energy coming from you, Cancerians, with this uh, Knight of Swords. So, for the month of September, I feel like your person is viewing you as someone who's coming in and out. You could be at a distance with your partner, or your partner could be at a distance with you. With that Knight of Pentacles, um, I'm seeing that there could have been, there could be an offer that's like overhead for some of you guys that you're thinking about or contemplating about is what this person is kind of afraid of wanting you to come forward with an offer for some of you guys or is um, afraid of what could have happened in the past. An offer could be passed up, okay? You have the Four of Cups, also Five of Cups coming in reverse. So someone who's coming out of a lot of regrets or they view you as someone who could be turning down some sort of offer here or you're afraid to turn down an offer due to some things in the past uh, but I do feel like between you two, you guys are definitely outweighing some sort of option or there could be um, something you're trying to ground yourself with, but hold on to two different things. Uh, some of you all could be at a distance with your partner, could be dealing with a Leo here as well with this strength energy. OK, this could be their sun, moon or rising. But I'm feeling like um, how they view you is a lot of strength. It could be a partnership or values and a relationship and, a, and some goals here um that they're definitely taking a look at could be some sort of commitment on its way to you um i have the lover's energy and also the hero font so definitely could be a relationship on the way to you or they could be viewing you as someone who's willing to carry on a relationship um they definitely view you as somebody who has a lot of happiness in their overall energy with the nine of cups so to me, they feel like you bring them happiness, okay? You bring them emotional fulfillment. Um, it also could be sexually here with these lovers, right? That you could be bringing on um, this uh, sexual vibe as well. So let's see what you don't see. All right. Oh, temperance energy. Again, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. It could be someone who's wanting to come in with a renewal. Uh, for some of you all, you also could be dealing with someone older or you could be dealing with two different energies for some of you guys with that star energy here. Um, I feel like there is going to be or there could be some sort of offer. You could be dealing with that Aquarius energy for sure. A lot of major arcanas here, Cancerians, so it could be a lot of new beginnings. Um, but I feel like you guys are outweighing your options with the temperance energy. You're testing the waters, trying not to trying to reserve yourself is what I'm seeing here. Uh, since you have been through so much, um, I'm feeling like a lot of you guys, you're trying to overcome those traumas. What you don't see is you're getting ready to conquer some shit with the emperor energy for sure. Kensetians could be that you're leaving away from a situation with the six of cups or you're traveling away. But I'm seeing that there could be a situation that's causing you to build uh, a better um, life here with the six of cups. Could be that you're going overseas or you're traveling into calmer motherfucking waters. For some of you guys, okay? So, um, I feel like there's going to be some messaging for some of you all. Uh, it could be an ending to a situation with the Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, somebody that you were definitely outweighing your options. I do see with the Two of Pentacles, you could be outweighing a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. Underneath the surface, there could be just an overall situation that comes to an end. Um, I feel like it could be with a Scorpio. Um, somebody wants to, like I said, make a commitment with the three of wands and also the death energy. Okay. Um, let me clarify that for sure. So it's like, they're wanting a new beginning with you, some sort of commitment, um, a place, um, to have some sort of happiness together. You have the chariot energy here once again. Okay. So, um, I really feel like this person wants to kind of trample over the bullshit, uh, to make some sort of commitment or they feel like you've trampled over a lot of things that is going to be making some commitment here underneath the surface. I do feel you're coming out of a lot of worry with that nine of swords uh, coming in reverse. And also page of cups could be someone who's getting ready to message you or someone who wants to send those messages to you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, definitely prominent here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius as well. And um, Leo, okay, another Cancer. Another kind of side as well, but I feel underneath the surface, this person wants to come rescue you, baby, with some evenness, some even goodness. Could be dealing with a Libra as well, okay? But I'm seeing here that there's definitely someone who wants to come help you take that blindfold off to make things even, or they could just be trying to balance some shit out. Could be trying to get some sort of forgiveness in front of someone for some of you all. I feel 
if you have some court situation, things of that nature, it's definitely going to be in your favor. You have the three of pentacles, also the justice energy. Okay. So I feel for the month of September, someone's going to present a lot of commitment towards you. It could be contracts, things of that nature that you're pushing for. It's a new movement for the month of September. Let's see who's spying. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. That's who's spying. Okay. Somebody who could be, uh, you know, eyeballing you, communicating with you. Could be some haters around too. Could be somebody who's hanging around a situation, ready to see where the success is going to go. You have the Six of Wands, also Seven of Swords. I mean, the King of Swords. So, could be indicating to me that there could be a lot of cussing out, or someone has a lot of sharp words. You could be cussing somebody out due to someone hanging around a situation, watching your success. Also could be some admirers in the background as well. Can't say this is kind of similar um, to the Pisces part of the reading with um, the who's spying. Okay. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. Um, somebody who could have uh, tried to come into a completion with you or it could have been some sort of destiny that you were dealing with this person. Someone is sad underneath this person for sure. They're crying. So it could be someone, uh, Scorpio. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy could be spying on you for sure. I do feel like it could be someone who wants to have a family foundation or someone that you had a foundation with in the past that they had to call some sort of quits. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, very prominent here. Could have been someone who had you in a third party situation that they had to leave away from or they felt very stuck in is the person who could be spying on you. Looks like an ex as well. Page of Swords. This is like double time, baby. Okay, Cat and so be aware of these people. Um, I do feel that a lot of you guys, oh, whoa, whoa. We got the devil energy here, also to the sword. So um, whoever you need to look out for that's in that tricky energy or somebody's being tricky, somebody could have been having some sex affairs with the devil energy. <laughs> also with the page of swords, um, I feel like they were spying to see if you were either having sex with this person or if you were going back and forth. Um, or they were going back and forth traveling to see uh, what was going on here. You have the double energy, could be Capricorn as well. But I'm definitely feeling like this person was snooping, being trying to trying to be tricky with going back and forth with that sexual energy. This definitely could be uh, someone outside of uh, the relationship or outside of your unionship. But I'm definitely seeing here um, for a lot of you guys, there is someone who has a love offer for you. That's who's spying on you as well. Cansadians with the Ace of Cups. So it could have been, could be someone that you have some dealings with. Uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Okay, some of you all could have received some information or some news about this person with the Three of uh, Sword energy here and also the Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Like I said, this could be somebody from the outside. Okay, Cansadians. So let's see some advice for Cansadians. All right, so the advice is to end the situation here with the Ten of Swords, okay? Um, I feel, oh, wow, what was that? I feel overall for some of you all, um, there's a situation that you feel whatever the universe brings to you is what you're going to take, okay? I have the Wheel of Fortune twice that just fell out and flew on the floor. But I have the Wheel of Fortune twice, okay? And so it's saying trust whatever the universe, the universe is bringing. Keep your passions, okay? And also, you know, stick to the prize. Stick to the motive. Stick to um, the goal, the end goal is what I'm seeing here, Ken Setting, because there's definitely a lot of motive surrounded by you with a lot of people. Page of Swords energy here once again. So the advice is, uh, you know, could be spying as well, but it's saying to take care of the detail, the well details, to stay in control, Ken Setting. So be aware of that could be an obstacle of spying on someone or you spying on them, but same to stay in control of the situation because whatever the universe brings, you got it, right? So let's see about possible outcomes. You got the six of wands. It says I'm proud of what I achieve and accept my awards. So you guys could have a lot of uh, achievements coming underway for possible outcomes, Kansadians. I feel with the nine of swords, you feel kind of... Um, like you're in the moment, you're not really thinking outside of the box. So definitely plan ahead. Um, could be money situations as well. I feel like you're holding on to your coin and you're trying to find your place in the world. You got the Ten of Pentacles, baby. Okay, so some of you guys could be getting your stability. 
You could be really starting to celebrate and achieve everything that you fucking have, Cassettians. All right, with that Ten of Pentacles, it's looking absolutely fucking fabulous. A lot of you guys could be dealing with making new beginnings come into your passion and uh, what you've achieved in your home, your successes. Okay, Ten of Pentacles looks wonderful. Ace of Wands energy here as well, Cassettians. So be aware of that sexual energy. Um, and coming out of a argument or coming out of um, multiple people that caused um, for you to have, you needed to have a peace of mind. Okay. It could be a lot of people who brought on a lot of struggles and a lot of situations that you weren't really like feeling um, because it's a lot of admirers in your corner, but I'm feeling like you're going to be focusing on what you can make happen. All right, Cancetians. So with the two of wands, okay, let me go back with the ace of wands. New passion, sex energy here could be a main focus, all right? Because I do have um, the five of pentacles coming out of a loss, feeling like you were alone. I feel like you about to come out of that because it's going to be some sexual fire energy here for some of you guys. Could be Virgo towards Capricorn as well. Could be outweighing your options with two different people as well. Can set in with the two of wands, trying to make it happen, all right? One of you all could be trying to build stability with one person and the other person. You know, you just want some sex from the motherfucker. But I feel with the Nine of Pentacles, you are nurturing yourself. You're going to be rewarding yourself. This is wonderful. Um, I feel like you're going to accept the things that you can't change, right? And keep it pushing. I love you, Cancetians. I'm going to get on out of here. If you need to get a personal read, hit that description box down below. Check out my website, LorelsMoon.com, for any of the magical purposes and deviation workings, things of that nature. All right. See you in the next video. Peace.